Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video, I am going to talk about once you get vaccinated with Corona vaccine, what is the diet pattern that you can follow with the help of Ayurveda. As you know, there is, there is no specific guidelines what you can eat, what you cannot eat because after vaccination, people are saying you can eat whatever. But still, there are certain set of people who wants to know what food they can eat according to Ayurveda. Or Ayurveda recommends what kind of food after getting vaccinated. So, uh, so this video is all about what food you can have and what, you, what, what kind of food you should avoid. So that you will get in a way a booster double dose like uh, one dose of getting vaccine and one dose of food like what food you can avoid so that the immunity of your respiratory system become better and better. So let's see what are the foods that need to be avoided after getting vaccinated. As you know, even after getting vaccinated, certain people, certain set of people, they are getting mild symptoms like mild fever, mild fatigue, mild body pains. And there are certain set of people who are getting high grade fevers. When I say high, high grade fever, that means the fe fever above 100 degree uh, Fahrenheit. So if you are getting fever more than 100 degree Fahrenheit after having vaccine, it's better you consult your doctor because this is the time that it's, uh, it becomes very important to take the consultation from a doctor. But if you have mild symptoms and not much fever, just mild symptoms here, their body aches are happening. And overall, there is no much fever, just 99, 98. This, uh, this kind of fever is there for initial two, three days and it is not increasing, it's subsiding. Uh, so what is the kind of diet which we can take according to Ayurveda, which will help us to, uh, to get over these symptoms very quickly. So let's see what is the diet. According to Ayurveda, all those diets which are responsive, which are responsible for inflammatory response of lungs, that is kapha enhancing diet, we want to remove it from the system. So first and foremost thing that you need to avoid after getting vaccinated, that is milk. Because milk according to Ayurveda is extremely kapha enhancing. So uh, milk though it is a very good diet, it's a complete diet in itself and I'm a big supporter of milk. But when it, gives, when it comes to certain conditions and when we don't need kapha in our system, we can avoid having milk in our diet. So this is the first and foremost thing you can do it for 15 days till you don't get the second dose of your vaccine and after that more 15 days. So you can avoid your milk for one month. Next thing is among fruits, what kind of fruits we should take and what kind of fruits we should avoid. So first category, what kind of fruits you should avoid that is watermelon and muskmelon. Both of these fruits have extremely good water content and this water content is also responsible for enhancing kapha dosh in our system. So it is very important after getting vaccinated, if you're feeling mild symptoms, try to avoid these two fruits. If you don't get any symptom, then you can have these fruits. But if you're feeling fatigue, if you're feeling little bit uh, raise in temperature, and if you're feeling little bit uh, not hungry, and you're feeling like something is, and if you're feeling that something is not very good, so in these cases, try to avoid these two fruits. And instead of these two fruits, you can have a pomegranate. You can have apple, remove the outer peel of apple and then eat apple. Apple should be properly ripe. You can have papaya, you can have lychee and you can have chiku. So these fruits are extremely beneficial to uh, any kind of, for any kind of disease and any kind of recovery. As per Ayurveda diet, as you know, whenever we go to uh, see someone uh, who is uh, having sick or who is admitted in hospital, we usually take these fruits. Uh, we will not take watermelons. If you, if you stay in India, then in India it's a very common practice. If, if we visit any of our relative who is sick, we always take either pomegranates or apple. Uh, because it's a general practice in almost every home or papaya. So these are the most common fruits that we take. We, we never take melon or 
musk melon because uh, in our traditional culture also it is very much rooted if somebody is sick he doesn't need watermelon he need apples so uh, this uh, knowledge comes from ayurveda and it uh, stays uh, from generation to generation and this is how things are so these are the fruits you should take uh, or, and uh, also it is very very important if you if somebody has chest infection or who has cough or body type they should avoid bananas after having vaccinated because oh, banana is one fruit which is extremely responsible for enhancing cough uh, though i am a big supporter of musk melon watermelon banana because these are the seasonal fruits these days but uh, if they are kapha enhancing and if our body is in certain condition where we don't need kapha in our system, enhanced kapha in our system, so we should avoid these fruits. The next thing is if you want to have oranges, kiwi or any kind of citrus fruits, try to have it in afternoons when there is sun. Don't uh, eat these fruits in the evening because if you eat in the evening it will enhance pitta and it will also enhance kapha and they will become difficult to digest so either take these fruits in the morning or best in the afternoon if you are big uh, fond of dry fruits and big bowl of dry fruits if you are eating soaked dry fruits so try to avoid dry fruits for one month after getting vaccinated because as you know according to ayurveda these dry fruits are also kapha enhancing and anything that enhances kapha in your system that will uh, impact on your lungs because lungs is already a place of kapha and if you are uh, eating any diet that enhances kapha in your system that means there is more possibility that th this can cause inflammation in your lungs according to Ayurveda and if you have kapha body type. So it becomes very important in these uh, few days we should not uh, take any diet that is kapha enhancing in nature. In addition to that, always try to have freshly cooked meals and try to consume these meals within three hours of cooking because as you know, according to yogic sciences and according to Ayurveda sciences, the freshly cooked food is the positive pranic food and that means it enhances the prana in your system, that means it nourishes your body from within. In addition to that, don't drink water, cold water that is from refrigerator because if you drink cold water from refrigerator, there is more possibility that it can impact uh, your throat and ultimately if your throat for some reasons get infection, it can go to your chest. So for this specifically for this one month try to avoid the water from refrigerator, try to have lukewarm water uh, or uh, the water that is at room temperature if uh, weather is extremely hot but try to avoid like you are coming from outside inside the home it's sweating and you drinking refrigerator water that will uh, that will not be a good option for your health uh, especially in uh, uh, especially in this time when we need immunity the most and also I advise try to avoid all the refrigerator things unnecessary like we uh, cook food and we put put in refrigerator for a long time and then we take out and we start eating always try to have freshly cooked food and if it is not possible even if you are taking something from refrigerator heat it and then eat it or consume it uh, try to have more and more fresh salads and fresh fruits that would be more beneficial to enhance your immunity